of time at the home of a guy named Press Martin. They made a lot of cookies and pies because <laughs> they were always carrying in a lot of sugar uh, and yeast. I'm, I'm sure they were making cookies, no question about it. A lot of cookies and pies they made over there at Shooting Creek. Uh, I forget how many how many million pounds of sugar they hauled into Franklin County. 19 million pounds, I believe. Probably. Uh, yeah. I, I'm ser seriously. Yeah. No, no. Between 1928 and 1935, okay. they hauled 19 million pounds. I figured it was one pounds. year. Yeah. No. 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 <laughs> but 19 million pounds of sugar uh, there in the Fur Mercantile Company, and they were making lots of cakes and pies. So. I bet it, that was good too. <laughs> anyway, Thank Sean. You. Charlie uh, <laughs> recorded this quite a few times. Don't forget, we have our CD back there and we'll be glad to autograph it for you. And, and uh, if you'd like to get one, my first wife is back there and uh, I'm her first husband too. But my first wife is back there and I also have copies of my book uh, on Charlie Poole that has all the words to all of his songs in the back and a history of Charlie Poole's band and other bands in this region as well, like the Floyd County Ramblers, and et cetera. And I'll be glad to autograph one of those for you. You remember, as, as Bill would say, Christmas time's a-coming. Uh, so you might be looking for a stocking stuffer or something. So at any rate, we'll be glad to sign those for you if you'd like one. Thank you. It's been a great pleasure to be up here. And after the break, you're going to hear one fantastic old-time dance band, the Dry Hill Draggers. These guys are the real thing, and you're really going to enjoy their music. And we'll uh, do, close out our part of the program with this. And if you uh, want to use your flat feet again, now's your chance. As we'll do a little Green Mountain Polka or Richmond Cotillion or just Richmond. All right, boys, wind it up now. a little back about 30 years ago when I first saw this band. What, we what got happened? a whole lot prettier. I, I, I wouldn't I wouldn't agree with that, you know. I, those old guys were ugly and y'all are too, you know. <laughs> you looked in the mirror and like, look good. Oh, good. Oh, that's, you're hard on the man, I tell you. I heard that you live down at the base of a mountain here where they, they do that cookie making, uh, sugar hauling. Uh, any, any confessions you'd like to make about that? They make cotton candy and stuff like that, but I'm gonna plead the fifth on the rest of them. All right, all right. I think I know what that means, you know. You know, uh, when uh, Don Stover told me years ago, great old time banjo player, he says, when people sit down there playing folk music, and uh, when they stand up, you know, they're playing real music, and they're they're from back in the woods. So this is a band from back in the woods, and there are two generations or three generations of them here. They've been doing this a long time, and it's old time music. 
with hair on it, you know, and, and hadn't been washed up all that much. Would you make them welcome the Dry Hill Draggers? I tell you, they really doing some good playing in here tonight, ain't they? I mean, they really done good. We're going to get up here and make a little wreck, and I believe we're going to kick things off old tune called Tommy Love. Ha, <laughs> ha, 